Hello, my name is Lauren St. John, and I'm going to talk to you about John Adair's book of How to Grow Leaders. A little bit about the author. Dr. Adair did leadership. He was a leadership training advisor at the Royal Military Academy in Sandhurst. He is the world's first professor, professor of leadership studies at the University of Surrey in 1979. He got his master's from Oxford and his doctorate from King's College in London. He's an honorary professor at People's Republic of China in recognition of his outstanding research and contribution in the field of leadership. He's appointed chair of leadership studies for the UN System Staff College in Turin in 2009. And he has written over 40 books in many different languages. The objectives of this book, um, he provided various approaches to leadership um, that he discussed, qualities, group or functional, and situational approaches. He discussed how leadership has evolved over time, and he explained in detail about his application of the seven principles of how to grow leaders. The target audience is any individual seeking knowledge about leadership, current or aspiring leaders, individuals looking to improve their leadership skills, and leaders or companies who are interested in learning how to grow leaders. Strengths and weaknesses. The book is very clear and concise. It's easy to read. He provides inspirational quotes about leadership from historic, historical figures throughout the book, which I really enjoyed. He provides examples of leadership concepts through interesting stories of current or previous leaders, such as the CEO of Whirlpool, Moses, various generals and lieutenants, and historians. He provides skills applicable to all levels of leadership. And the only weakness that I would say is um, the lack of discussion of barriers to leadership in minorities and women and their appropriate response to possible discrimination. My evaluation is that the author did an excellent job achieving all objectives of this book. He thoroughly explained his situational, functional, and qualities approaches to leadership. He explained in detail his seven principles of effective leadership development, providing application examples and tips. And he explained the evolution of leadership, providing examples throughout history to present day. My recommendation is that I highly recommend this book to all individuals in a leadership role or aspiring to be in a leadership role and individuals hoping to learn about or improve their leadership skills. This book is applicable to all types of leaders, regardless of educational level or years of experience in a leadership position. And I'll close on this quote that Dr. Adair emphasized throughout his book from Euripides in 406 BC. Ten good soldiers wisely led will beat a hundred without a head. Thank you.